What's up, Basil Bangs? It's your girl Joy back with another Basil Banger. Child, I just got home from work. I just walked in the door. I stayed at work late. This was one hell of a day. Just one hell of a day. I thought I was going to lose it today. You know, some days you have a great day. You're like, oh, okay, it wasn't that bad. And then it was a so-so day. Okay, that wasn't too, too bad. And then you have some days you're like, what the heck happened? And that's how it is when you're with the teacher. You're never guaranteed to just have great, great days all the way through the year. You're going to have those days when you're just frustrated and you don't know what to do. When you just feel like you need to grab your bag and go to the teacher's lounge or go to the bathroom and just sit there for a while. Or you need to call another teacher or administrator and say you need to tap out. You need a time out. You need an adult time out. Or you need to call your girls on the phone and say, Girl, you need to meet me after work. We're going to do the thing. We need to do the thing after work. See you at 3 o'clock. Okay. That, it was one of those days. But I didn't have anyone to say meet me at 3 o'clock. <laughs> I just had to sit in my car is what I did. No, I actually stayed late at work. So before I get further into this video, give this video a thumbs up, like, comment, share, and subscribe if you choose to. If not, I'm okay with my five subscribers. I am okay with that, okay? Okay, okay. <laughs> so, honey, I just got home. I don't even know what time it is, y'all. I think it's like, it could be close to 7.30, 8 o'clock at night. So, I stayed at school, tried to go through um, some of the, the kids' papers I need to grade. I have so much to do this week. It is crazy. Because a lot of things they want us to shut down and have completed for spring break. Anyway, I may be... I may be able to go in during spring break. I need to find out if the principal is going to be at school. I don't mind going up there one day to get all my stuff in. But, hunty, let me tell you, it was rough. Anyway, I just got home. I'll go back to the day, but I just got home. I don't want to talk about him. I don't want to talk about him, okay? And I didn't lock my door. I didn't put the lock on my door that I could lock from the inside to keep people from the outside from coming in. So if I'm vlogging, they won't disturb my flow. You know what I'm saying? So but after this video, I, I was too tired to put the lock on my door last night. Because it was getting late and I knew I wanted to get up and run. Anyway, before this gets cold. Look, look. So Clinton made this. He even fried my egg. He's like, when you coming home? My grits are cold. Made me a fried egg on top, y'all. Mm. He did a good job. He did a good job on the grits. Cause I took the chicken out yesterday and with chicken legs you soak them in salt water overnight or you know for uh, several hours and he put the chicken in an air fryer so let's see mm. nice and tender I think the kids can hear me when I pull up, when I get home. Clint comes out. Come on, food's getting cold. I appreciate it. Right? I don't want to hear it. I'm putting the lock on. That's the one thing I'm going to do <laughs> before I get tired. I know it's coming though. I'm tired. So, it's like I know when somebody's in my room. I just know it. So, as soon as I walked in my room, he was right behind me. Oh, he brought he brought my, my food. Because he made my egg 
I was like, bro, I would have made my egg, but he made my egg for me, right? I was like, I would have made my egg. So I was like, okay, so I checked my egg. I can't see nothing white and runny. I'm like, boy, boy, if you don't take that egg off the top of my grit, boy, I can't even look at it, boy. He was like, what, what? I said, take that egg. It's not cooked all the way. <laughs> so he checked. He was like, oh, right. <laughs> I can't see no white runny part. Only thing I want to see runny is the yolk. Mm -mm. Not the white part. Mm -mm. So, he texted me while I was at work. You want me to make that chicken? Yeah, that chicken sat in the fridge for two days. Why you, yeah. Throw it in the air fryer. I don't care. No, I didn't have no plans. Just ask me. Sh yes, thank you. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. So. I think. People underestimate the legs, honey. You get meat. The skin to meat ratio. It's not bad. Then Sydney starts texting me. So that's why, I'm, you know, legs are good. The skin to um, meat ratio. Like on wings, you get more skin. So, I don't really feel like this is a mukbang. I don't know. I'm just talking and eating, y'all. Like the mukbang is a whole production. I'm too tired for that. I'd rather just come sit in my closet. You know, it's not a full production. I have some muscles that I want to make, but, you know, I want like the shrimp and the potatoes and this, make the beet love sauce. I'm too tired, y'all. I'm just too tired. You take it good, though. Y'all don't need to sleep on no, um, air fryer. <laughs> mm. So, I probably, but I plan to make quinoa and some stir fry vegetables. But whatever. This will work. And honey, grits make me sleepy. Mm-hmm. So I'm glad that. It's a night time. Mm -hmm. So, I talked about a video where, you know, I told the kids, check in your um, agenda, check in your journal, make sure you put, I have homework due Monday. Remember that? If you didn't see that video, if I remember, I'll attach a link to that video in the description box below. So, today is Monday. I have no idea when I'm going to get this up. I'm backed up right now. Alright, I'm a little backed up. So, here comes Monday. My co-teacher is not there. She's not feeling well. I got a sub. I very talk of the sub. Mad cool though. He's good. The kids are on 10. Administration is saying they need paperwork. That was due on Friday. I don't know what happened Friday. I think I was running up out of that school Friday. I don't know what I was doing. I ran up out of there. Or I just forgot. And then I had a special ed meeting in the morning. And they say, you need this paperwork. Your paperwork is late. We came looking for you this morning and you weren't there. You wrote a note on my board. We need this paperwork ASAP. Then I'm getting text messages. We need this paperwork ASAP. Where is this paperwork? And then I'm getting an email. We need this. This is you late. So once they do all of that, you go on the naughty list at school. 
literally they have a list so now i'm on the naughty list right i'm like go ahead because the morning i've had baby i'm trying to get it together i don't have my coach is just not there then i'm hit with a sub sub is very nice very talkative and then i have a whole brand new student that comes from behavior school where i used to work so i know what kind of students they have there and you can have one student their behavior can be such they will disrupt the personality of the entire class the energy will be off oh and because i was distracted the paperwork the paperwork the stuff the attendance the this you gotta have the attendance i'm trying to get the paperwork ready this person is calling me emailing me texting me the, the students are going crazy so i dropped the ball today i just dropped the ball i was too distracted i wasn't focused i wasn't in the zone my goal was the paperwork all right they already put my name on the list but they still need the paperwork gotta put my name on the list those kids gave me the business today. They really did. And you know what I asked them? So, by the time I was trying to run copies, oh! <laughs> I forgot I was trying to run copies and cut them in half to save paper. It was crazy, bro. So, I come in. You know, I try to be a little stern, right? This is really not my personality, but you, you got to try. You got to do it. You got to do what you got to do. Literally. Excuse me. I'm like, okay, we are on level zero. Take your packets out. Everybody get your packets. I already emailed your parents about the packets. I told them you had homework. I told you you had homework. I told you to write it in your journal. I mentioned it three times. And then my co-teacher mentioned it two times. So it was a total of five times we told you that you had homework to write it in your journal. And I emailed your parents. Take your packets out now. Because that's what we're doing today. Where's your packet? What packet? We had homework? I want to take my skin and rip it off and fold it inside out because I was through. I was done. Done. That class, I may have 28 students in that class. Maybe 10 people had the homework. So what that's telling me no matter what strategy I use, no matter how many parents I email, it's in vain. But you know what? It's the teacher's fault. I, I swear to God, I think I was about to have a nervous breakdown. Because my lesson depended on that. All right. All right. Mm. So I was like, if you have your homework completed and you have your packet, you get on this side of the room and the, and the ones who do not have their homework get on the other side of the room. <laughs> I was just throwing a curveball. I was just off. It was just too many things happening at one time. Never experienced this before in my little career. Get in a group on the, the side that had this up. Three to four people in a group. Get in, just get in a group. Discuss your answers. If there's a conflict, discuss why you got the answer. Where did you find the evidence until you both agree on the right answer? If you just cannot agree, I will 
come and we will figure it out and solve it together. I know I'm just spitting my food everywhere. Now, for this other group, have a seat. I didn't want to give no more lecture. The sub did that <laughs> because he came to my, my room earlier and I had to go run and make copies and deliver stuff. So by the time I came back, he was giving them the business about my classroom. He was like, this is one of the most amazing classrooms I've ever seen. And for you guys to write on this stuff, to break this stuff, to destroy her stuff, it, it shows you have no pride when somebody tries to do something nice for you. He gave them the business. He kind of went on a little too long. So I had them, now you guys need to finish the packet. Work on the packet. So that was my day. I got the... Um, I got everybody what they needed. I was put on a list. I got the nice, nasty email. Okay. My day was crazy. I'm sorry. Pulled into art meetings. The class is crazy. Everything's crazy. I don't know what happened to Friday when you asked for it. So I figured I'd get it to you first thing in the morning. And that didn't work. I don't know what happened Friday. I, I think I just forgot about it. Um, put me on a list. Go ahead. <laughs> mm, it was a crazy day. That's how my day went. How was your day? How was your day? And it got a little better after that. We still have people who didn't do the packet, but not as many as that class. It was rough, y'all. It was rough. Then Sydney, my daughter, she was texting me about her passport. It was just, it was just a lot. I would say the highlight, my friend was like, and I stayed at school late. Some of it, I was just decompressing. Some of it, I was organizing papers into categories on how I need to grade them ASAP. Um, My friend was like, what are you doing Wednesday? So this could have been about six o'clock. I was like, I have to think about kids. Bobby has basketball on Tuesdays and Thursdays. I was like, I don't know. I don't think I have anything, but you know the way my kids go, they have a whole agenda for me. <laughs> well, she's like, well, I'll let you know, you need to clear your schedule on a Wednesday. I'm like, whatever. You know, it is what it is. And she said, I'll let you know. So I guess she had to confirm some stuff that she comes at. We're going to go see Cirque du Soleil. Then we're going to have dinner. We're going to have dinner. Then we're going to see Cirque du Soleil. We need to, dinner's at 6.30. Period. Point blank. I was like, okay. You got that, right? You got that, right? She was like, yeah, she had the tickets and her friend canceled. I was like, okay. She was like, so tell your kids you don't got none for them. You're taking a day for yourself. I was like, bet, sis, I got this. I got this, sis. I got this. I got this. So, if it all goes well, you know, I'm waiting for tax time just like everybody else, child. Okay. What? What? I think I'm going to take two days for myself. For myself. I'm just going to leave. I'm at that point, y'all. I've never, ever, in 18 years, I've never done that. Mm-mm. Not that I remember. Mm-mm. When the kids were tiny, tiny, I think I went away for a weekend. I went back home to New York. But I think, I'm going to take not one, but I'm going to take two days. If I, if I can afford it, I'm going to take two days over the spring break. I'm going to see how I can fit it in. I'm just tired, y'all. I just... I need, I need a little me time. So I'm going to end this video here. Thank you for hanging out with me while I eat. I love y'all. <laughs> y'all listen to me, okay? Um, Sydney wants to talk about her passport. I got to hear about her day. Bobby, she needs a laptop. <laughs> her laptop broke. It's always something, y'all. So I let her use my laptop. Um, she was like, well, I was waiting on a laptop. I was like, well, you should have started handwriting your essay. How about that? And then Sydney was like, uh, I need to talk. There's so much we have to discuss. So I don't think she wants the camera. I will try the camera if you guys 
I've already been on here 20 minutes. <laughs> I will try the camera, see if she wants to talk about it then. But if not, give this video a thumbs up. Like, comment, share, subscribe. I love you. Mm -hmm. And thank you for loving me. All five of y'all. Yo, yo, all five of y'all. I'm going to take that. I'm going to roll with that, okay? Because it's not about the numbers. It's not about the views. It's about that deep love and feeling. Okay? And I'm just going to go with that. I'm just going to go with that. I cannot let you down <laughs> okay I, I can tell i'm starting to get silly now i better go oh i gotta put that lock on my door oh all right y'all i'll talk to you later bye nobody knock on your door bobby <laughs> yes, you did. i did did i knock on i knocked on this door Hey, Sydney. What you doing, Sydney? You got your passport? I didn't know what was in the mail. So you said you wanted to talk, girl. What happened? Lizzie called me and put her mom on the phone, and her mom was like, I just wanted to call because I'm worried about your passport and I was like, so am I? And she asked like if I've called recently and I told her I called today or I called today during lunch and you called Angela called and she said to keep calling and to call every day and that she's called three times today for Lizzie's passport because they don't like they don't close until nine o'clock. So she said, don't call in the morning, but call like midday and then at nighttime again to like, she said once like they get the papers processed because they send them to New Orleans to go through like a scam machine to make sure there's no bombs in there, like for security purposes. Mm -hmm. That's why it and takes five minutes. And then send them over to Houston. And she said, once the papers are there, then you can breathe easy. So just have to make sure that the papers get there and that we call tomorrow but the guy said you know he asked when you were leaving and so on and so forth and he says oh make sure you call give it 72 hours so he was pretty confident and be like oh it's not going to be enough time well because the lady was rude that i talked to i was like so is it guaranteed that i'll have it by sunday like when i leave and she was like we're not allowed to make guarantees that makes sense so she obviously didn't motivate that situation but So what are you doing? So, well, I say we call Wednesday. I think we should call tomorrow, too. I think we should call every day, like Lucy's mom said. <coughs> and I have something to do Wednesday, so I can't help anybody. I'm doing me Wednesday. Probably until midnight. It's, it's not it's not even open for discussion or negotiable I'm going out girl you don't seem very excited about that because well, mom do you see this like I have that new test tomorrow and I literally like I don't understand math and Bobby doesn't understand it either and no one knows how to explain it to me and I've watched videos on Khan Academy but it doesn't help Oh, you going to um, tutorials in the morning? That's what you asked me to take you to school early? Well, I have to retake a test for chemistry. Well, just think, Sydney, this week is going to be over soon and someone's going to be in Honduras. Yes, you are, Sydney. <laughs> you will. You know how our lives go. We, it takes us to the last minute and then it typically works out in the end. Yeah? Did you ask Clinton if he knew the math? I'm just saying he might. None of your friends, nobody I knows it. I literally texted so many of my friends and no one understands it. Bobby it. doesn't understand it? No. Or she's not taking the time to understand it? No, she sat in here for like 30 minutes trying to help, but she doesn't understand it. And you looked on YouTube? Yeah, I just watched like 30 minutes of videos. 
So let's see, what is this to me? It's just like, she doesn't know how to explain this. Not everyone is a great teacher. Yeah, she doesn't even teach. She gives us five minute videos to watch. Well, what's 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 the one the one you having a problem with? Maybe I can ask Miss Reese. I like I don't know how to do this. Just like these two. Like if you know how to do one, you'll know how to do the other. Yeah. What is it? <clears throat> Find the. Oh. Let me take a picture. I don't know if she's busy. So I'm going to take a picture of her problem and send it to my friend. I don't know. She hasn't been feeling well. She didn't even come to my classroom. She says ratios of distance between collinear points. This should help. Dividing line segments video. So that's the update on Sydney, guys. So let me get out of here. She ain't looking too bad. Say bye, Sydney. <laughs> that took all energy, y'all. Trust me, it did.